It is currently 16 days of activism in the no violence against women and children and the State Theatre in Pretoria has a robust program of production uh, that shines the light on this. Now today we look at one of the stage productions titled Bodies Under Siege. This production showcases poetry and music aimed at amplifying the voices and the plight of women and the LGBTQI plus community. Bodies Under Siege showcases a South African perspective on the abilities that these groups have to overcome. And to tell us more about the production we are joined via Zoom by Mo Africa Wamukhati who is the director at Hear My Voice. Mo Africa, very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. Welcome to Morning Live. Good morning, St. Pibe. How are you? I'm very well. Great to have you on the show this morning. Uh, you are the director at Hear My Voice, and this production is in partnership with yourselves. Take us through your, the, the role of your organization. Well, Hear My Voice, it's a, it's a non-profit based in the capital city in Tuane, uh, where we do most of our work. Uh, we, do, we use poetry as a catalyst to address social issues and we do also international exchanges of which it speaks to what what is under siege has become uh during the, the COVID 19 lockdown so we have partnered with um, with the gothenburg literature uh, with the gothenburg book festival which south africa was the country of focus in 2020 and unfortunately we could not go for obvious reasons you know and um mm. Those are some of the things that we do, and we have been running the the bodies under siege now for for the third year this this season, and it was only befitting um, to take bodies under siege virtually. Of some of the things that we have been doing this year, quite a lot, in fact, uh, they have been happening virtually. So we took bodies under siege to Sweden virtually, you know, via the South African State Theatre, and uh, speaking of some of the very pertinent issues around gender-based violence and uh, how one can reflect. And we have been always having an all-women uh, production and, you know, from the band itself, from the musicians itself, but we have incorporated men because of we, want, we also want to hear what men are saying when it comes to gender-based violence. So to hear their contribution through poetry, that's when we have Soli, uh, as part of, of the poets presenting, we also had the likes of the Concord and Gabinde on the bandstand. So, yeah, just to, to touch base, that's what we do. And that's uh, the thread with uh, Bodies Under Siege this year. You know, more Africa, the title itself, Bodies Under Siege, is thought-provoking. It's bound to get people talking and start so many conversations. And it'll make people to take a deep introspection and reflect on the susceptibility and the vulnerability that some bodies, you know, find themselves in. What is the significance of this title? Exactly that. Exactly that. South African women bodies are under siege. And we are being selfish to say, for me to say that, you know, South African women bodies. But there are other groups in South Africa whose bodies are under siege, like the LGBTIQ community. Hence, we are robing them in. Uh, they have also a powerful voice and standpoint to state their views. So bodies are under siege in South Africa. That by the time I leave the gate, you know, by the time I leave my house, there will be some men whistling, you know. Uh, my body is mm. already you know, at war with men's eyes. Mm. Uh, if I, if, 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 if a, an, a lesbian woman walks uh, wearing very, what, what, what society would call masculine clothing, you know, there'll be scotch talking. There'll be all of this thing. So really our bodies are under siege. And this production speaks about that. This, this production speaks about how close all of these things are. It might be someone who knows you, uh, but, you know, because of that, with a group of people, then they see you in a different eye. We have seen it, you know, uh, in South Africa, where a group of boys, you know, will talk among each, each other. To approach a girl that they know or one of the boys in, in that group knows, to say, let's approach, you know, you know her, you know, and then it becomes gang rape. Some of those mm. things. It's not far-fetched. It's the people that we know. And I think that is the most scary thing because of our homes used to be our refuges you, you know we would run from the streets to go home but when you get home it's it's not longer safe you know it's it's very it's very appalling and 
we we need to voice this this thing out some of the women were happy because of covid-19 lockdowns uh mm. because of we were not in the streets you know yeah. for instance but yet again there were women who were being abused in their households so where do we run to but yeah. our bodies are at siege yeah, and uh, now that we're currently in the 16 days of activism against uh, gender-based violence, and this production uh, shines the light on quite a number of issues faced by women in particular in the country, take us through what message you are trying and hoping to spread through this production. I want the production to speak louder and to tell each and every human being around the world to know that we are of importance that women are of importance, the LGBTI community is of importance, and we should hold that dear. You know, when we're looking into history, women have been in the forefront of this. Women have been have been kings and, and ruling and, and running um, all these warrior spaces, you know, claiming our lives, especially within the African space, claiming our, our well-being of our people side by side with men. So Bodies Under Siege says, take us serious. And with 16 days of activism, unfortunately, you know, our government is, is just touching the surface. But mm. let us as women and government talk, you know, face to face and to say, you are also contributing to some of these things, you know. And the most even sensitive thing that has its root tied with women issues is the financial freedom of women. If government can have a conversation to say, let us start on, on, on an equal footing when it comes to salaries, women won't be having to go and, and say, because of Ubaba Ustengelisingwa, you know, Zela. Some of those things, if women are financially secured and our government must do something about that, some of these percentages will definitely decrease. So bodies under siege, it's, it's, it's just, you know, screaming to say we are here as women in the LGBTI community. See us, we are willing to do the groundwork. Yeah, and this production is part of a program uh, presenting productions that will put the spotlight on gender-based violence and as well as femicide and other ills uh, affecting women in particular. And it'll run through mid-December. And, uh, you know, uh, what can audiences expect? And just before I let you go, I would like you uh, to talk about, uh, you know, the reception that, uh, that uh, you know, this production has received at the uh, Ezra's broadcast on the global stage during the 2020 Gothenburg Book Fair. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's always funny that South Africans, sometimes we, we, we like things after they've been abroad, right? But mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's a thing, I guess, that we need to shake off. Uh, we, this, like I said, that is the third year running for Bodies Under Siege. But I believe that it was mostly received even much more yeah, because of it was on an international scale. And um, it's, uh, it's, it's been humbling to see that uh, there's still a space for people who have an ear, you know, of the issues of women. Okay. And to collaborate with, uh, with the Swedish, like, with the Swedish institutions, like, you know, the Gothenburg Book Fair, like the Ramos, like the Alof Palme uh, Foundation, okay. you know, the Swedish embassy. So if we are bringing, you know, the work and displaying it, with collaborating with such people, South Africa's South Africans, you know, they they've, they've received it quite well, and especially because of we have the best of the best when it comes to poetry. We have Bangile Ganju, uh, we have uh, Christy Van Sale, uh, we have uh, Soli on uh, also the masculine voice that is coming through. We have Kokon Gabinde, we have Vandat David on the drums, we have Dr. Putisipuru, and it is just a beautiful production that I urge people to continue to watch. Okay. Uh, it's very thought-provoking. All and right. Yeah. <laughs> More Africa, great chatting to you. Thank you so much for your time. We definitely need longer slots and a much greater platform to ventilate these issues because these issues are not, um, I mean, are everyday issues. These conversations that we should be having on a daily basis, not just uh, in November. Thank you so much for your time. And there is a more Africa Wamuhati talking to us about Bodies Under Siege, which is a theatre production which seeks to amplify the voices, as it were, and the plight of women and the LGBTQI plus community and also bring awareness about gender-based violence.